What is good friends, back more World Cup, this time hi or here from US Northeast, not 100% sure how to pronounce it, versus Snow from Team Italy. Another semi-finals match on Snow side, it's most likely going to be Mega Larias, uh, AV Tangros, Standard Buki Celestila, then either this or this is Choice Scarf, I assume this is the Scarfer, and one of these two is most likely the Z-Move user, and on high side, Mega Alakazam with... Spikes Ferrothorn, and then it could be either Rocks on Clef or it could be Double Hazard Ferrothorn. It's a really obvious choice, Gav Landris, if you ask me. And this is just more bulky backbone. Celestila uh, on both sides doesn't surprise me at all because Mega Alakazam is like really common in OU at the moment. It's spammed, and it's just it's just really good and hard to deal with. We have even seen AV Tita used in this World Cup because of how scary Mega Alakazam is. <laughs> But yeah, we see the Landers and Timonet go off before the Psychic Search from the Tabulele. So this is a free as U-turn for High here. Because he either gets good chip on the Tabulele and can then bring in his Salus Dealer. Or if Snow switches out, he gets momentum. So Snow either has to stay in here if he has like some coverage for Salus Dealer. Like um, if he has like electric coverage or if he has Nature's Madness, he can go for that. Um, if he wants to take a U-turn and weaken the Salus Dealer with Nature's Madness or T-Bolt. Or if he doesn't have anything to hit the Salus Dealer with, he has to switch out into his own Salus Dealer or his own... Uh, Landris. But yeah, uh, high gets of the U-turn damage as soon as we see Celesteela come out. And we will see if Snow has Nature's Madness or if he specs and he went for Psychic or something like that. But yeah, I think overall um, this is definitely a decent matchup for high. Because the opposing Celesteela, he can um, deal with it. Like he has a Toxapex that can pivot into Celesteela. Landris can intimidate the opposing Celesteela that way. Clefable can eat heavy slams. But um, he is, or high is, uh, Celestila. Snoke doesn't really have much to break it. We can see that Psychic only did 34%. I don't think that's Specs. That might be Twisted Spoon or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. I don't think it's Specs, but it looks like it did a little bit more than Scarf or non attack boosting item would do. But yeah, um, we could see a Heavy Slam or Leech Sheet here from high, or we could even see a double out. But I would probably just stay in with the Celestila uh, because. Snow might want to go into Tangrowth here to um, block a Leech Seed. He goes into Landris, okay. So Snow probably just wants to get his rocks up. Landris is his only rocker, yeah, he does throw them up. He doubled out into Ferrothorn to get up his rocks. Uh, I personally would have stayed in with the Celeste Dealer just because you want that extra leftovers to keep the Celeste Dealer healthy. Uh, because it deals with the Mega Ladi and with the Tabu Lele. And Snow has like no way to really break the Celeste Dealer. And yeah, Snow. Might just go for Earthquake here, or he might go for... I don't think it's the... Yeah, there's no point going hard for Sky Strike. But yeah, highest play here is either um, go for Leech Seed or... Wait, it's Rocks Ferrothorn, so this might be this might be Double Hazard Ferrothorn. So Ferrothorn got up the Rocks, which means the other moves would be... Probably Spikes, right? And then um, maybe Power Whip and then last move, I'm not sure yet. But yeah, he does get up Spikes, confirming that he's a Double Hazard Ferrothorn. So no went for Earthquake. So this might have brought this in range from Supersonic Sky Strike. I'm pretty sure this is a Z move Landris at this point. Um, it obviously changed that moves, and it's pretty obvious to me that the Kaldios Choice Scarf on Snow side. So Haya probably doesn't want to stay in here because Ferrothorn's not bad in this game. If the Ladi is just Bolt Beam on Snow side with like Surf or Defog, then the Ferrothorn can wall the Ladi. So there's no reason to stay in here. If it goes Clef. Uh, on a Z move is it Sky Strike? Yep, it is Sky Strike. It's gonna be like 65, 68. Okay, so um, Earthquake might be a roll here. So Haya probably wants to switch out into his Salus Dealer here. And if you Snow here, like he might just have to click Earthquake because he doesn't want to let the Clef heal. But I don't think Haya should ever risk um, the Clef dying to Earthquake here. So he's probably just gonna go Salus Dealer. He didn't. He didn't go hard into Salus Dealer though um, because he didn't want to let the Salus Dealer take a Sky Strike. But now he can go Salus Dealer here because. Snow's either gonna Earthquake or U-Turn, most likely gonna Earthquake. And yeah, the Clefable can still heal up on the Tangros. It can heal up even on the Celesteela. If Landris from high can intimidate the opposing Celesteela, then the Clef can eat up heavy slams. And yeah, Clefable is definitely... Uh, this is most likely gonna be a Calment Clefable, which is a good win con for high, so there's no reason to stay in and sack the Clefable. Since the Ferrozone is double hazards, we know the Clef is not rock, so the Clef is gonna be some sort of CM. So uh, he does go with Celesteela on the Earthquake, makes the correct play, and now... I can just click Heavy Slam here or Leech Seed. Uh, probably just Heavy Slam. Don't see what you lose from clicking Heavy Slam. You get guaranteed damage off on something. Snow U turns out. Um, and do Tangros maybe to block a Leech Seed? Yep. 
Do we see heavy slam or flame throw? I would just click heavy slam. He just click flame throw. Okay. So now, um, how you can just click protect here to not get knocked off and get an extra turn of leftovers. And now he probably wants to switch out here into Clefable or Toxapex. Um, maybe in, I don't think Clefable can. I don't think Clefable dies to Giga Drain at 38. But if Snow has Sludge Bomb, he might want to go for that and kill the Clef with Sludge Bomb. But he probably doesn't have it. He just knocks and gets rid of the lefties. So yeah. Uh, how you can go for softball here, Clefable obviously outspeeds AV Tangros and Snow's 4 star goes into his Celesteela. And Hai doesn't want to stay in here, he's either going to switch out into Toxapex or his... Maybe Toxapex or maybe Landris. Uh, because Landris would get off and intimidate on Snow's Celesteela and then he can wall the Celesteela with the Clefable from there. But I would personally probably go into Toxapex, yeah. So does he need Sheet or Heavy Slam? He doubled down to Megalady, okay. So he might want to go for a defog here or he might uh, click psychic if you have that. So we can see high is uh, black sludge toxapex. But yeah, toxapex is not forced out because Megalody is not that strong. Um, I don't think this is going to be... Um, like Snow Steam is weak to Heatran kind of. So this has to be um, 3 attacks or 2 attacks defog. Megalody, yeah, he does just so defog. He's, it, basically what I'm trying to say is it's not a, it's not a CM Megalody on Snow's side. So Ferrothorn is just going to get the hazards back up here. I don't know if this Ferrothorn has Leech Sheet because he probably could have gone for Leech Sheet there. But yeah, Snow's gonna um, defog again here probably. If High has Leech Sheet, there's like no reason not to click it to get Ferrothorn back to full. So this is definitely... Oh, it is T-Wave. The last move is either Power Whip or... I think it's Power Whip, yeah. I'm not sure though. Because Ash Greninja is not a big threat to him since he has Clefable plus Toxapex already. But yeah, just, just get the hazards back up. Uh, Rocks and Spikes both have more PP than Defox, so Hai is gonna get up hazards in the long run here. So it is not looking good for Snow. But yeah, the Ladi is most likely Defog, Recover, Ice Beam. And the last move is either Surf or... Yeah, it probably has to be Surf. Because uh, Heedrun is a big threat to Snow's team. Scarf Kel, you can only switch in a few times. So how you can just click hazards here multiple times, uh, he doesn't lose anything, gets up spikes now. Now this turn, he can click rocks again, or like it doesn't really matter because if he stays in and whenever snow defogs, the Ferrothorn just gets extra leftovers back, which is amazing for high. And yeah, so just, okay, let's go into Alakazam there and he gets a para. He could have stayed in as well, but I understand why he went into Alakazam. And now this can threaten out the Nagalati with a Shadow Ball. Um, the Celestia pretty much has to come out here. Because Shadow Ball does like 50% to Megalari, maybe even a bit more if it's Modest Alakazam. And US East, you, um, usually they run Modest on Alakazam. So Snow might not want to stay in here, he probably just wants to go sell his dealer. I don't remember how healthy Steeler is, but I think it's relatively healthy and it can still switch in. So does High have anything to punish the sell his dealer? Some sort of double? A play he could make is double um, into... Uh, he probably just. He, I would probably just attack get some chip on the Celesteela, but he could make a double, yeah, into either Toxapex or Landris is what I'm trying to say, as Snow goes into Tangros, wow, so when Tangros there anticipating a Shadow Ball, but even, but with the spike up, I don't think he would have recovered much with Regenerator, because back to Pex and we see it's, um, back to Megalady and we see it's Toxic Spikes, Pex, so it's, um, Scald, Toxic Spikes, Recover and Haze most likely, um, definitely think this has to have haste this Toxapex because like um, some Dragon Dance, Gara Dragon Dance, Gyarados, regular Gyarados could be a big problem for Heist team or just Mega Gyarados in general or just setup sweepers. You even use um, haste for stuff like um, opposing Calm Mind Clefable which can be a threat um, if you don't want to have a Calm Mind War with your own Clefable and opposing Clefable if your Celesteela ever gets trapped by opposing Magnezone, uh, opposing Clefable can be a big threat so you always want haste on your Toxapex is what I'm trying to say most of the time. Um, like sometimes it's good to have toxic plus toxic spikes, but in my opinion, it's better to have haze. It just helps in a lot of scenarios versus a lot of different setup sweepers. So Snow was able to get a um, defog off, and Ice Beam does like nothing to Ferrothorn. So I assume High is just gonna stay in here for a few turns to get some extra leftovers, click uh, rocks or spikes for a few turns. That para doesn't matter too much. Um, but yeah, Snow cannot keep hazards off, like I said earlier. Rocks and spikes moves have more PP than defog. Uh, it's not looking too good for Snow. Yeah, Hai just clicks it a few times and eventually Hai can go back into Alakazam exactly just do it this turn. And yeah, now he can just Shadow Ball because now he does have the rocks up. And I think Shadow Ball does like 28-30% to this Tangrowth. 24, okay, that does nothing. But he gets the Death Drop, so now Snow has to go into Celesteela as we assume. We assume just, I assume we just see a Psychic, yeah. And that is 25, so this is definitely more than them, I think. And yeah, Snow can click Heavy Slam here or Leech Seed. 
Well, Leech Seed makes sense because uh, High is not going to stay in. He's most likely going to go Toxapex or, or Landris, yeah. But Landris, the only reason why you would go Landris is he Flamethrower. A bit surprised by that. I guess in case High wanted to go into Ferrothorn on a Leech Seed, he did go for Flamethrower. But in my opinion, going to Ferrothorn on a potential Flamethrower, or like just in general, going Ferrothorn on Celestia is not a good play in my opinion. But I understand why Snow made the play. But yeah, he did get off the Intimidate on the Celestia with the Landris. That, that's what I was trying to say earlier, but then was trying to understand the play and then he turns into Clefable and he can call mine up because Clefable doesn't take half from Heavy Slam with the Intimidate from Landris so Clefable is actually able to probably softball up this turn or oh he goes for Ice Beam okay so we see it's Ice Beam Clefable which is um, for the Gliscor matchup because SD Gliscor can be a threat to balance teams like Heist um, if Clefable was not Ice Beam then the other option would have been uh, HP Ice on Alakazam but the Alakazam already revealed Shadow Ball which means it's gonna be uh, probably recover focus blast shadow bolt psychic so there's no space to run hp ice so it makes sense that the clef has ice beam i'm not sure what the other move be would be on the clef it could be moonblast or it could be flamethrower um because this team is kind of weak to kartana celestila if it gets knocked off by kartana on the switch um it's not a counter anymore so kartana can be a big threat for high team i could definitely see this clef being flamethrower and if he has flamethrower and that kills the stealer from this range um, then he can click that here but if he doesn't have that um, he can just switch out here into his toxapex on the most likely heavy slam that snow kind of has to go for um, do we see heavy slam he just switches out on the toxapex so he either doesn't have flamethrower or it's a roll or he didn't want to risk it i'm not sure and now megalady might just want to come out here because it's paralyzed so it can't get burned but Hai doesn't lose much by... I mean, Hai can double into Alakazam here, expecting Oladi. I think that's a good play. Well, no, Snow can just click Protect here. So I don't think Hai is going to double. Because Snow could have clicked Protect that turn to just get extra leftovers. But he doesn't. He goes into Oladi hard. And Hai doubles into Landris. Not sure he, what he predicted there. I guess, yeah, go doubling into Landris works out. Because it covers the Oladi. Because now he can U-turn out, get some good damage on the Oladi. He can just U-turn out into Alakazam or Celestila. Uh, or Ferrothorn, whatever he wants to U-turn out into. And if Snow stayed in, he probably would have gone for Protect. High would have gotten off the Intimidate on the Celestila, and then he could have um, U-turn out the next turn into either Toxapex or Clefable, because like I said earlier, Clefable can take Heavy Slams uh, from Celestila with the Intimidate from Landris. So that was a completely fine play by High that covered um, the Ladi and the Stay in from Snow. And yeah, now High is just going to click U-turn here. Uh, if Snow stays in, I assume he's going to click Recover. His other uh, play would be switching out. Um, but yeah, like if he goes Celestila here, he's kind of getting chipped from these rocks. These rocks are really annoying for Snow. The, like the more his Celestila gets chipped, um, the harder this becomes for him. Like Alakazam can kind of just win the game for high whenever, if the Celestila from Snow gets too low. Because Tangrus is not a good answer, and like High has multiple answers for Tangrus. CM Clefable is also a big problem for Snow's team um, if the Celestila goes down. Or if the Celestia like, just gets chipped a bit more, the Clef can probably kill it anyway, but with plus one um, Ice Beam. I don't know what the other move on the Clef is yet, though. Even though, like I said, uh, Flamethrower doesn't make a lot of sense. Because Pex and Steeler are both not um, reliable versus Katana in the long run. But yeah, so the only play for Snow here is either Recover or Switch Out in the Celestia or his own Landris. And High is definitely going to click U-Turn. Um, that's his best play. You either get momentum or good damage off. And yeah, well, if you U turn here, you probably want to go into Alakazam just because Alakazam is a good offensive presence that can scare the Megalati out. And you just spam Shadow Ball. And I don't even know if the Celestia can switch. And if the Celestia switches into Alakazam, it can at most switch in one more time to Zem if it even can do that. And if Celestia ever goes down, like I said. Uh, CM Clefable looking like it might just win the game for high and Alakazam also looking like it just wins if Celestia ever goes down. So he does just U-turn onto Alakazam. You see Ruru's most likely or recover? Yeah, same thing. And yeah, now high just clicks Shadow Ball here. Uh, Snow goes into Tangros knowing that it can eat it up. He can eat up a Shadow Ball into Psychic. No spit after up this time. So Snow could go for um, Giga Drain here. I, knockoff does a bit more probably than Giga Drain, but Giga Drain makes it so that Tangros gets a little bit more health back. So yeah, I mean... If Celestila is still healthy enough to switch into Psychic, he could also pivot into Celestila here, but I assume he's just going to Giga Drain try to get some damage off. Uh, High can stay in here if he really wants to, because um, Alakazam 2 it kills the Tangros, and the Tangros cannot Oko the Alakazam, and the Alakazam is obviously faster. He doesn't have to stay in, he could also just go out into Clefable and then um, go for Softboiled. 
but he most likely is just going to stay in and click Psychic. He doesn't lose anything from doing that. I'm pretty sure even a crit from Tangros can't kill the Alakazam. Um, usually this modest Alakazam even runs a little bit of HP investment from Team US East. I think it's Northeast. I think it's like a little bit of HP. I don't remember how much. Like you speed tie with Ash Greninja, uh, obviously if you if you run modest max speed, but you have a um, Ferrothorn, a Toxapex, and a Clefable, so Greninja is never getting its Ash form, so you don't need modest max speed on Alakazam. Um, so they usually run some sort of bulk, like 20 or 24 EVs in bulk, I think, on their Alakazams. Even though, um, yeah, Zero, I was just going to talk about Zero Aura, but Zero Aura is not allowed in World Cup yet. Uh, not not uh, going to be allowed in World Cup at all. Because otherwise, people might want to run uh, Timid Alakazam to outspeed Zero Aura. But yeah, uh, Snow has to switch out here into Celestealer or Sack something. And I don't know if Celestealer can take Psychic into Shadow Ball. Um, but yeah, High is free to click Shadow Ball. Uh, Psychic here. Psychic is super free. Um, it kills the Tangers if Snow stays in, and if Celestia comes out, um, it's gonna get chipped, and it, it might be able to barely eat it, but that's definitely what High wants, more chip on the Celestia. So Megalady comes out anticipating the Psychic, so the Celestia is not healthy enough to switch in, is what I'm thinking, yeah. So he's gonna Shadow Ball here, um, Snow has to sack something, Snow has to sack something, and oh, it goes hard, Cal, you're breaking the Shadow Ball. Okay, so good pivot on Snow's part, going into Megalari on the Psychic and then pivoting into Scar of Kelly on the Shadow Ball. Now we can scale this Alakazam with a Hydro Pump, but I can just switch out here in the Toxapex. Um, so Snow might want to pull a double. The Tabu Lele is at 59, which means if he doubles into Lele, it's at 47. But uh, High's Lele is. High's Steeler is still healthy enough to switch into Tabu Lele, so even if Snow doubles out, into um, Tabu Lele predicting Toxapex. It doesn't really gain him that much. He just takes some rocks on his Lele and High still has answers for the Tabu Lele. So Snow is just in a really bad position. He made a good pivot there from Ladi on Psychic into Kelly on Shadow Ball. But yeah, he does make a double into um, Tabu Lele anticipating Toxapex to come out. And High just goes into Toxapex playing it safe. I had no reason to play it risky in my opinion. He's just in a really good spot and he doesn't have to make plays at this point. He wins this game by just playing safe. That's how I see it. So now Snow can um, chip down the Silas Dealer here. Maybe you, maybe you might want to go for HP Fire or just Psychic again. I don't know. Um, Toxapex might be able to live one hit from full if it's not Specs Lily, which I don't think it is. But um, there's no reason to stay in. You just go into Stellar Stealer here if you're high. And yeah, like Toxapex is also like gonna wall Snow's entire team, kind of, besides Lando. And Lele walls the entire team. Like, Hai just has so many months that can win him the game, is what I'm trying to say. Is what I'm trying to say. Alakazam wins relatively soon if. Um, Clefable wins relatively soon. Toxapex like walls the entire team if Lily goes down. So I assume it's either a heavy slam or leech CD. Probably a heavy slam. Yep. And now Hai can just um, well he can click heavy slam again or leech sheet. Cause you don't want to protect here because Snow could go for rocks this turn exactly. So did he go for heavy slam again? Or flamethrower maybe because maybe flamethrower does more. So he does just leech sheet. And now he's gonna protect to get some extra leftovers back because obviously he doesn't want to get knocked off on the Celeste dealer. Snow Yuta out into, into Tangros to block the lead sheet, which was, a, which was a good play. And he goes into Ladi expecting the protect there. But now he's forced to click uh, Roost. And I don't even know if. He should be faster because Celestia usually runs minus speed and is a really slow Pokemon. So even though he's parrot, he should still be faster with the Mega Ladi, especially with T Wave being nerfed. But he pivots back into Tangros. Okay. Um, Hi, I think Hai could have. Well, Hai uh, didn't want to stay in because if the. The Ladi could have roosted it up. Heavy Slam wouldn't have done enough because of the Intimidate. So his play going Alakazam makes sense. And now High, if he doesn't want to stay in here because the Tangros is relatively healthy, um, he can just switch out on the Clefable or Toxapex here. Most likely into Clefable. Yeah, I think Clefable is definitely the play here. But yeah, Snow, Snow's Mega Ladi is almost dead. I think it's at 17 after Rocks. So I thought you would want to go for Roost. Uh, but yeah, like High is definitely in a really great position. Didn't really matter. Like, doesn't really matter if Snow healed. So if no doubles in those Steelers Dealer which works out well there. I mean Celestia um would have been able to take a hit from Alakazam. If he predicted the clef even better. I think um High just didn't want to let the Alakazam take a hit from the Tangros. 
and risk anything because it probably was in range from a crit from the Tangrowth. So Hai just made his safest play. Snow makes a good play there going for Leech Heat, expecting Hai to switch out into Toxapex, get some health back. And now, um, if I'm Hai here, I would probably double out. Uh, Snow can go for Protect to get extra leftovers. Okay, he just gets up a Toxic Spike. I thought he might want to... Um, yeah, this, this, is what, this is fine. I mean, he stayed in there just in case Snow wanted to go for Protect. And now... Um, Snow might want to go Megalady to try and get the um, Defog off, and High makes a good double into Landris. Yeah, I, I, yeah, he, Lady is never going to get the Defog off. What am I saying? And like, Lady only gets a Defog off versus Pex. And High doesn't allow him to potentially go Lady and get a Defog off. But Snow goes for a triple lead sheet there, um, gets the play correct, and gets the Celestealer back to full, which is good for Snow, having Celestealer healthy, because it can deal with Alakazam and Clefable again now, and with Landris. Like, it pretty much walls everything, but High can just um, go back. He can either go into Clefable or into Toxapex. Clefable does um, beat Celesteela with the Intimidate. Heavy Slam only does like, I would say 40 is my head count, maybe 44. Um, maybe a bit less even. It doesn't do that much to max defense Clef with the Intimidate. But yeah, Pex also walls, so he does pivot into Pex. Now he can pivot oh, back again. I was gonna say into Clef, but he was in the Landris. And now he can just U turn here. And Snow. I guess he's just gonna spam flamethrower because heavy slam is not gonna do anything but to intimidate. So if he stays in here, he might just spam flamethrower and try to get a burn on if high wants to go toxic. He protects there, which that doesn't really do anything for him because he was already at full and he just used the protect PP. But I don't. It's not. It's not like a big misplay or anything, but it also doesn't help him at all. So either Clef or Pex is gonna come out here. Well, if you go Clef, you risk getting crit by heavy slam, but. Your Clef can see him up on this and definitely put him work. But he goes into Celesteela predicting a heavy slam. Well played, bah. Okay, well played. I didn't think about that. And now he can just go for protect, get a Celesteela back healthy, and um, be able to check the opposing type a little bit better, which is really good for high. I didn't even think about that. Um, I would not have gone into Celesteela there just in case Snow went for flamethrower. Like, he could have definitely gone for flamethrower, um, trying to burn uh, the Toxapex. Because heavy slam is not, wasn't going to do any damage with the two intim intimidates anyway. But yeah, High got the play correct, and the Celestia is back at 69. So High can go Leech Sheet here, or he can switch out into either Toxapex or Clefable. Let's go Clefable on a Leech Sheet. And now Clefable is going to go for Command, most likely. Softball first to play it safe. And now I assume we're going to see the Command here from High. As Snow goes in the Tangos, he's going to get poisoned. Not sure what this Tangos is going to be. It doesn't even beat the Clef at all. So High can just click uh, Ice Beam here, which I think he already revealed Ice Beam earlier. Flamethrower, okay, so he does have Flamethrower on Ice Beam, and now Flamethrower, that's for, oh, it's 45, so it's a roll to kill the Celesteela, probably. Um, earlier, the Celesteela, the Clef was in at plus one versus the Celesteela, and I think the Celesteela was at 48, and he didn't go for it, so I guess he didn't want to risk the roll then. But it, see, he does have Flamethrower, so this is the, oh, this is like an Aura set, like, uh, this is a set that people use in Auras a lot, Ice Beam to hit Glisco, Flamethrower to hit Scizor, and we now see the set in Sun and Moon Oyo. ABR, I assume, made this team that High is using, bringing this... Fire um, beam clef to our uh, to Sun and Moon Oyo, <laughs> so um, High can live a heavy slam and if Lamesu doesn't kill it, to it kills the Celestealer. But it might not be worth it to let the clef potentially take a heavy slam. So he does get the roll. Okay, so he was willing to let the clefable take a heavy slam if he didn't get the roll there, um, which was fine because the clefable could have still he still healed up later in the game on the Tangros. And he also doesn't need the Clefable to win it, just, but yeah, this just speeds up the game. Like, Alakazam pretty much... Getting rid of Celesteela means Alakazam also pretty much just wins the game on its own. So even if the Clef had to take a heavy slam, this was definitely fine for high or here. Still not sure how to run, so let me know in the comments if you know. And yeah, now he can... Yeah, the Lily cannot kill the Clefable. So uh, he can stay in here if he wants to, or he can go into Celesteela, up to him. I don't think it matters at all. Um, yeah, this game been this is like a hard matchup for Snow because, but I just don't like Snow's team too much. Scarf Kelly was like, like that mon is really weak. <laughs> this doesn't really do any damage. Um, it's good to check stuff like Volcarona. Volcarona is, but like, how do you know? Like, Volcarona is not common. Is what I'm trying to say. Like, how do you know your opponent is gonna bring that? And other than that, yes, it checks Ash Greninja. And or Greninja in general because it outspeeds it, it's a bit scarf. But it doesn't really it doesn't really do any damage. It's like walled by so much but Toxapex. Um 
uh, Tangrowth also was it, and Scald is also nerfed. So like, actually, I don't know if people run Scald or Surf. I, th I know maybe I think used Surf on his Scarf Kellyo, but people probably still use Scald as well. But yeah, what did you do? Heavy Slam, Flamethrower, Heavy Slam, and now you can just protect, get extra leftovers back. And yeah, this game is pretty over. So he goes Ladi on the protect, I assume. Yep. And now Snow is going to try to get a um, recover here. It's a Roost, I mean. Same thing. Because this Ladi is faster. And Hai just goes hard into Alakazam. It's going to scare us out with the Shadow Ball. Well, he just clicks Shadow Ball here. It's not even about scaring out. He kind of just gets a kill with Shadow Ball. 50% uh, and Ladi can't touch the Zam. There's a full parrot. It doesn't matter because even if he doesn't get parrot, he cannot hit the Alakazam hard at all. Thank you guys for watching. Um, Hai brings the game home, the win for US Northeast, and US Northeast is up, I think, 3, is it 3-1 now? I think they're up 3-1, I'm not exactly sure, uh, versus Team Italy in World Cup semifinals. Hit the like button if you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Also, expect more guest uploads from my man, from my man BTB, shoutouts to him, and peace out, friends. Damn, Hai is 5-0? Good God, this guy been on fire. Um, I also recorded highest round one games. I haven't uploaded them that, but they will probably be coming in the future. So stay tuned for those as well. And peace out, my guys. I also will do short on lives. Um, they will be back. Um, let me know if you want short on lives, and I'll try to get one up the next days. And peace out, friends.